How are you, my friends? This is lecture 33 of the algebra course lectures about combining functions and composition. Please, if you want to see the other algebra course lectures, you can go to the playlist called ACL. Now here we look at sum, difference, product, quotient, and composition of functions. So the first one we look at, if we have function f and g, we can add them. f plus g of x will be f of x plus g of x. Easy, just add the functions. That will be the sum. Now the domain for this sum will be domain of the f, intersection domain of g. If we say find the difference, f minus g of x will be f of x minus g of x. We just subtract the functions. We get another function. The domain will be the same as the first domain, domain of f intersection domain of g. If we multiply two functions, we get another function and the domain will be the same. Only if we divide, which is we call it quotient. If we divide f over g, so now the function f divided by g, to find the domain here, it's almost the same, domain of f intersection domain of g, then we have to say minus the zeros of the g. Every number will make the denominator zero, we remove it from the domain. Now the first example is so easy, given a function x squared plus x minus five, function g 2x minus one, let's find the sum and find the difference. So we just add here and subtract in the second one, so easy. f plus g of x, we say f of x plus g of x, we just add like terms, x squared, 3x minus 6, subtraction, remember here f minus g, you can find g minus f, that would be another function. So f is first minus the g, we change all the signs in the g. So it becomes x squared minus x minus 4. Now here we have two functions, f of x, x squared minus 5, and then a g of x, square root of 4 minus x. I need to find all this value one number. f plus g of zero, so that's the addition. f minus g of minus four, divided by f times g of minus five. So I can find each one separate, and then add and divide. See the first one, f plus g of zero, it means easily f of zero plus g of zero. Replace zero in the f, we get minus five replace zero in the g, we get square root of four, two, so the answer minus three. See, minus three is the first number there. Now in the subtraction, f minus g of minus four, f of minus four minus g of minus four, f of minus four, we go to f, we square it, and then minus five. Minus, big bracket here for the g of minus four. Four minus minus four. So that be square root of eight. And this one, 11 minus two square root of two, we write it here. Now in the denominator, we have the product. F times G of minus five will be F of minus five times G of minus five. Each time I replace minus five in F and then minus five in G. So when I multiply, I get 60. Here we add the final answer will be four minus square root of two over 30. Not easy answer, but it is the correct answer. Now let's go to the domain now. We have f of x square root of 12 minus 3x and g of x will be 2x plus 5. Let's find the domain of the sum. We need the domain of the sum. As I mentioned before, domain of the sum will be domain of the f intersection, domain of the g, domain of the f as we have seen before. We take the uh, radicand 12 minus 3x greater than or equal to 0. Here also we take 2x plus 5 greater than or equal to 0. Find this domain, find this domain, find the intersection. Now remember, this one is a linear inequality, so that's easy, power 1. This is also power 1. If you have power 2 or power 3 or rational or absolute value, you have to do the cases or the polynomial, you have to do a table of signs. So this one is easy. X will be 
less than or equal to four, you change the sign. So minus infinity to four. Intersection, uh, x will be greater than minus five over two to infinity. So you put the numbers here from minus infinity until four, and then minus five over two until infinity. So the intersection will be this one, minus five over two, the smaller number to the big number. Now the composition, composition, what is the meaning of a composition? F circle G, that's the main definition. F circle G of X will be F of G of X. So we read this as F of G of X. This is the way we read it. So if you have a number X, then find the image will be G of X. Then find the image again. G of X is a number here. Let's say X is two, this is five. So if you say F of five, we get the image by five. We call this F circle G. Remember X in the domain of G. So it will be the domain of G first, such that G of X is in the domain of F. Now to find the domain of this composition, you find the domain of F circle G after you find it, intersection with the domain of G, the original or the basic or the first function. Now we can have composition of three or more functions like F circle G circle H. The definition will be F of G of H of X. So we start with the first function here, G of, of, of X, we've, H of X, we find it. Then G of this, we find it. Then F of that, and we find it. Let's see here example four. We have four parts. All of them are easy, I think. F circle G of minus two. So we have F and G. Go to definition. F circle G of minus two will be F of G of minus two. So we replace minus two in the G there. Then whatever number we get, we replace it in the F. This is the opposite here. See, A and B are numbers. See, they are constants. So this is A and B. F circle G of minus two. I put minus two in the G. This is a G. So minus two squared, that's nine. F of nine, I put it in the F. It will be 25, the answer. Now, G circle F will be G of F of three. See, always you have to go back to this definition here, the first one here. This is the definition, this is the main definition. F circle G of X will be F of G of X. You can change F, you can change G. All right. So this one here, F of three. So we start with F now, three times three minus two, seven. G of seven, we put in the function G, seven squared plus five is 54. Now, this is C and D. In general, we take the function G, because G of X is all there. See, in X, X squared plus five. I replace it in the function F, in the X here, see? Three times all this G, X squared plus five minus two. So it will be three X squared plus 13. The same way you find G circle F, but you start with F, you replace it in G. Now the idea here is to compare, because some people, they think F circle G, G circle F are the same. They are not the same in general. So F circle G and G circle F are not the same in general. Very special cases where they are the same. Now, given the function f of x square root of four minus x and g of x will be square root of five minus x. Let's find the domain of f circle g. Now, given the function f and g, and we need to find the domain of f circle g. First, we have to find f circle g, which is f of g of x. So we replace all g inside the function f. So it will be big square root, four minus square root of five minus x. To find the domain of F circle G, not the final domain, but we have to use this domain. We take the radicand four minus square root of uh, five minus x greater than or equal to zero. Move this on the other side. 
Square both sides, 16 is greater than or equal 5 minus x. Take x on the other side, x will be greater than minus 11. So closed from minus 11 until infinity. This is not the final domain of F circle G. We have to find the domain of G, then find the intersection. Now, <coughs> G of X is square root of five minus X. Uh, five minus X in the radicand, greater than or equal to zero, X less than or equal to five from minus infinity to five. And the other domain from minus 11 until infinity, find the intersection will be closed minus 11 to five closed. That's the domain, final domain of F circle G. Now here we have three functions, F of X, G of X and H of X. Let's find F circle G circle H of minus two. So directly we go by definition, replace minus two in the function H. Whatever number we get, we put it in H. Whatever number we get, we put it in F. That's the same idea, but this is in general. There is no number in the X, just X. So minus two, replace it in the function. H becomes minus two plus three, so that's one. G of one, we replace it in the function G, one to the power 10 is one. F of one in the X, one over one plus one, so the answer is half. Second one, we put the whole function h in the uh, g, so it becomes x plus 3 to the power 10. All this in the function f becomes x plus 3 power 10 over x plus 3 power 10 plus 1. That's the answer. Now this one is decomposition. Given a big function f, 4x squared divided by 13 minus 3x squared. Let's find two functions f and g such that f circle g is equal to the big function f. We can have more than one answer here. Just try here and go deeply inside the big function f. We need f circle g of x to be f of g of x. So what function g, we can replace it in f, small f, to get the big f. So I can take a g of x as x squared here, and then I can take the small f, 4x over 13 minus 3x. Now, if I replace g inside the f, small f, I get the big f. So that's the answer, two answers there, f and g. Now, this is a nice example here. We have a small function f, piecewise, and we have function g, greatest integer function. Let's evaluate f circle g of 1.5 plus f of 5 over g of 2 pi plus 1. That's part A, and this is part B. f circle f and g circle g. Nice question. Now, we start where? f circle g by definition. f of g of 1.5. So 1.5, I replace it in the g there. So I'll go directly say f of g of 1.5. So 1.5 will be in the g here. See, 1.5 minus 2. It will be minus 0 0.5. The greatest integer will be minus 1. So that will go there, f of minus 1. Now, f of 5, 5 is there, greater than minus one, so five minus five squared. So that's five minus 25, so in the absolute value 20. Down we have g of two pi plus one. So I put here two pi plus one, it becomes two pi minus one, two pi, six point, 3.14 times three, 6.28 minus the one. So the greatest integer will be five. 20 over five is four, and f of minus one, I put here minus one. See in the x minus one, cube root of minus one is minus one with minus one, so that's plus one. 16, four root of 16 is two there. You have to do some work until you get six. <coughs> Second part is f circle f of square root of five. 
So f of f square root of five, g of g of minus 0 0.5. Let's go to f first. Square root of five, something bigger than minus one for sure. So I put it there. So the absolute value of five minus five squared. So this is a zero, right? Five minus five, that's f of zero. f of zero also will be greater than minus one. So five minus zero squared, that's only five. Let's go to g. g of minus 0 0.5. So minus 0 0.5, minus two, minus 2.5 here. See, it will be the greatest integer of minus 2.5, integer less than that, minus three. g of minus three, I replace in the greatest integer minus three, minus two will be minus five. So when you divide, you get minus one. Given now two functions f and g, let's find the domain of g circle f. We have done similar. So we have to find first g circle f, g circle f, you see, g circle f. So I take the f, and then I put it in the g, one over, instead of this x, I put six over x minus three, which will be x minus three over six, that's a linear function. The domain now is r here, all this domain r, that's a linear function. There is no x in the denominator. Now we need the domain of f because f is the first function. So domain of f, all real numbers except three. See the denominator here cannot be zero. Now we need the domain of g circle f, just find the intersection between this domain or real numbers and the domain of the f. The intersection will be the small domain minus infinity to three, union three to infinity. Now when you find some old exam questions to practice, similar to the examples, sometimes little different, function h, function k, find the domain of the division. Here make a decomposition this is a big function, capital F, find two functions, F and G. Uh, here we have function F and function G. F circle G is given as 10 minus X. And here in the G we have AX plus B. Find A to the power B. That means you have to find small A, you have to find small B, find A to the power B. Now, here we have a function G. Find f of two if g circle f of x one minus two x minus x squared. Try to think of this question. And then number five, given one function f of x, x over x plus one, we need the domain of f circle f. Nice question. Here normal uh, substitution, function f, function g, find f plus g of six, f circle g of one, f times g of minus six, so easy. And then here we have function f and g. We need the domain of f circle g also. We done similar. This is a function f a square root of 16 minus x squared. g of x will be x squared minus one. Find the domain of f times g. I can help you here. Just the domain of f intersection domain of g. No conditions. Now these are the answers only, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four complete solutions, please. You can visit the video, all exams questions combining functions. Thank you for watching, guys. If you like the video, you can subscribe and share it with your friends. Just to remind you, this is lecture 33 of the algebra course lectures. Thank you again for listening. See you later.